7, we sat down with Michael Freeland's mother, who also called her son a hero. On your side, Destiny McKeever shares a mother's heartbreak. Michael um, was born, of course, to me, a single mom. At 15 years old, Tarana Fiatru says she became a teen mom. She thought life as she knew it was over. For me to know that I was the mom of this young man, you know, not knowing who he really was. That was until Tarana realized her son was a hero. He was clearly destined to be a fireman. As you can see from this photo, she says he had a servant's heart from the very beginning. When you know that you have a precious gift, you have to share it. You know, you share it with those who you're able to share it with, and Mike was that person. He took an oath, you know, to do this, and this was something that I know it was right for him. Freeland died in the line of duty November 11th. He was trying to save someone in a crash, but died from a spontaneous brain hemorrhage. His mother says she got the call after 2 o'clock in the morning, and it changed her life. You know, part of my heart was broken, and still is. But part of it is healed simply because of all of these amazing stories. When they did the 21 gun salute. In her home, Tarana is surrounded with memories of her son. She says at this moment it's more apparent why she needed him so early on in life. My son always called me his angel. Always. Mm -hmm. He was like, Mom, you know, you're my angel. And then he'd make a little joke, you know, here or there. But, you know, he said it was meant for you to have me at such a young age. You know, our... Our times, our life is numbered. There's a number. You know, there's a time that we have to all account for one day. And even though we weren't ready or prepared for it, you know, God said otherwise. In Jacksonville, Destiny McKeever, First Coast News, on your side. But what a strong mom.